All right, today we're gonna test out a couple different guns. This one here consumes only six CFM and we'll uh, test out other guns up to 25 CFM and you can see the blasting power difference. Okay, so why six CFM? So what that means, you can get this 120 volt compressor. That's the highest output you can get for a standard 120 outlet and you can vapor blast. Okay, so after I came out with my plans, uh, the most often asked question is, do I honestly need a five horse, 220 volt compressor? And my answer was yes, because well, more power is always better, right? But I wanted to see if I can answer that question and see if I can blast with a small compressor like this. The short answer is yes, however, it does take longer. And this thing will run the whole time you blast. So what we have here is the Harbor Freight uh, 61489 29 gallon, vertical compressor it has 5.9 cfm at 90 psi 7.3 cfm at 40 psi and it costs 329 dollars with a coupon and you can see that uh, it has a two horsepower motor that's all you're going to get on 120 volt and it has it's belt driven and it has a lubricated pump now you're not going to get this much cfm with a direct drive oilless they are noisy, they generate heat, the duty cycle on them sucks, and you know, like I said, the CFM output is not there. So you're definitely gonna have to go with a two horsepower version like this. Doesn't necessarily have to be Harbor Freight. All the other compressor manufacturers make uh, a belt-driven two horse deal like this, and the output is six CFM. Okay, so there's a catch. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're using a compressor like this, it will run the entire time, 100% duty cycle, which isn't ideal for a piston compressor. Most manufacturers state 50 to 60%, so it has to be off half the time. Meaning if you blast for 10 minutes, you gotta take a 10 minute break and so forth. There are some that claim 100% duty cycle. There are certain manufacturers, but then go look at their warranty. Their warranty sucks. So, you know, you just gotta take breaks, all right? Okay, all the CFMs I'm stating in this video is for 60 PSI. I found that 60 PSI works pretty good for aluminum, so I'm gonna have that as a set pressure for all the gun testing we do in this video. And what I mean by 60 PSI, that's working PSI, meaning when you have your foot on the pedal, you adjust it to 60 PSI. Static is obviously gonna be a little higher because when you hit the pedal, it drops a little bit. Okay, so this gun here is off the shelf. However, you have to modify it to work at six CFM. Any gun off the shelf will consume way too much. Okay, and also the modification that I do allows you to run any CFM you want. You want 6.2 CFM, you can do that. You want 11.111 you can do that. I mean, it's simply, it, you know, once you make the modification, it's very easy to tune this to whatever you want it to consume. So you can tailor it to your compressor. So in my plans, I have an additional 20 or 30 minutes on how to actually uh, make the modification. And then I have this document, which tells you how to do it with the video, where to buy the parts. And then also I have tested I have tested seven different gun configurations. So anywhere from six CFM all the way up to 25 CFM and everywhere in between. So that way, I think that's where most people will fall compressor wise. And um, that should get a lot of people up and going. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about how I determined what the guns consume. Okay, if you remember a few weeks back, I uh, did a pump CFM calculation when I installed the new pump on my compressor. And I just did that backwards. So I, for each gun, I started with a full tank at 175 PSI. I started blasting, I started a stopwatch, and I timed how long it would take to bleed off from 175 to 140. And after I noted the time, I just punched it in the formula and I was able to get the CFM um, calculation or the CFM consumption because basically I was trying to tune my gun for a duty cycle of 50 60 percent okay so that's what I was after but then I thought it'd be fun to see how low I can go with CFM consumption so that way you know guys that will only want to buy a 120 volt compressor 
can do that. Okay, so after the gun started consuming 6 CFM with my big compressor, that was enough to prove it to me. However, for you guys, I wanted to actually buy this compressor, run the vapor blaster with the 6 CFM gun, and that way you can see how it all works, and you, know, you can decide if you wanna get into this or not. Now, after this video, I, I actually already sold this thing. My coworker is gonna buy it off me because I actually have no use for it. Um, but real quick, my thoughts on this. It's quiet, the price is right, and the output is good, and you can vapor blast with it. So this is actually a nice little compressor. It's definitely nicer than the oilless Craftsman I had years ago. So it gets good reviews. I think the pump is made in Italy. It's got a marathon electric motor. You know, it's, it's a nice little unit, honestly. Okay, let's talk cost for a second now that we got everything in front of us here. Uh, if you buy the cabinet, it's $200 new. The bare bones cost for parts doesn't, that doesn't have all the fully loaded features is $550. The compressor is $329. That's $1,100 worth of stuff, and you can be up and running with vapor blasting. Okay, a couple tips. Since there's only 6 CFM of blasting power, consider this. Imagine if you had two separate pits, each full of different media, one being a coarser media and a finer media. You can swap between the pits. That only takes 10 minutes, and you can make quick work of parts that really need a coarser media. So to change the media, you rinse the cabinet down into the, to this pit, rinse all the media back into here, pull it out, take the pump assembly out, rinse it off, drop it in your new bucket, roll it, roll it under, hook it up, and you're blasting again with a different media. Okay, a couple tips on this one here. Um, when you're taking a break, put a box fan on the pump to cool it, so that way maybe you can get back to blasting even quicker. And if 220 is never an option for you, well then, get two of these. Link them up, and then all of a sudden you have 12 CFM, and you're blasting pretty quickly. Okay, something to keep in mind. If you blast at a higher PSI, it consumes more CFM. Lower PSI, lower CFM consumption. So it's related. All right, here we go. We got the uh, 6 CFM gun, Harbor Freight compressor, uh, 60 PSI, fine mesh glass bead, and here we go. We're, uh, we're vapor blasting with a cheap 120 volt compressor and you can see it's cleaning the part up just nicely. Uh, so you can see I got a picture of the gauge there off the compressor and you can see that the pressure is dropping, the pump or the compressor is off right now and it's gonna kick on at about 120 and it's gonna maintain 120 PSI. So what that means is that the pump output matches the consumption of the gun. So. That's all you're going to get out of this compressor. All right, I just saw the compressor kick on there. You can see that the gauge is bouncing around a little bit because the compressor does vibrate a little bit. So uh, just make note that it's, it's nice and steady and it's, it's doing the job.
Okay, next up we have an 11 CFM gun, and you can see how much faster this is. This is like two to three times faster than the 6 CFM gun. Uh, everything's the same, same pressure, same media, same part pretty much, and you can see how quickly, how much quicker this is. Alright, so here are a few parts. All the way on the left is a before, then the one to the right of that is labeled the 6, that's the 6 CFM gun, then the 8, then the 10. You can see you get the result either way, um, and you want to make note that the number 6 there is a little shinier than the rest of them, and that's just because I had a little more time to blast it. Okay, so I ran out of tappets to do, so here's the next part we're going to do some testing on. CB550 cylinder block, uh, has some factory paint, 40 years of corrosion, you know, nasty, nasty part. Okay, so this is a 14 and a half CFM gun, look at that blast pattern. Okay, same media, 60 PSI, you can see how quickly it cleans up. Okay, next up we're just under 20 CFM with this gun, real nice pattern, and uh, here we go. This one cleans uh, really fast as well. Okay, this gun is just over 20 CFM, I think 21 or 22 CFM, so let's take a look and see how well this one works. Okay, the last one, 26 CFM. This thing is like a freaking fire hose. I mean, look at that, look at that blast pattern. And it just rips all the junk right off. I mean, as fast as you can move the gun around, it'll take care of everything. And I wish I had a compressor big enough to run this. I mean, I can run this for a short time, but uh, 26 CFM, you're looking at seven and a half horse a good seven and a half horse compressor with 100% uh, duty cycle. So this is probably 10 horse compressor uh, in order to run this gun continuously. Okay, here's a snapshot of the four guns we tested, 6 CFM, 14.5, 21, and 26, and you can see the blast pattern on all four of it, and basically the more air you have, then the better the blasting will be. But hey, it's totally doable at 6 CFM, which is pretty impressive.